Here is another important and interesting technical question. What is the resolving power of optical instruments? Looking through a microscope, we want to see the whole object at once. This means that if we are looking at, for instance, a bacterium with two spots on its sides, we expect to see both spots if we magnify the image. You might think that all you need to do is add some more lenses to reach the necessary level of magnification. And if you have the skills, you can even eliminate spherical and chromatic aberrations. So it seems like you can now magnify the image to any size. However, the abilities of a microscope depend on other things. It's not because you can't magnify by more than 2000 times. In fact, you can build a system of lenses that will magnify by 10,000 times and you still won't be able to see the two spots situated so close to each other. It is because the possibility of geometrical optics are limited and the principle of least time is not precise. Comparing the traveling time of two equal beams of light, we can deduce a rule. It determines the limit beyond which it is impossible to resolve these two separate points on our image. Resolving power of an optical instrument is determined by the following rule. The images of two separate points can be resolved only if the amount of time the extreme rays spend to travel from this source to the image of the second point differs from the time they need to get to their own image by more than one period. So it is necessary that the difference between the time and the top and the bottom extreme rays spent to get to each other's images was greater than a certain value. This value is approximately equal to a vibration period of a light wave. The size of the smallest object we will be able to see is about the same as the length of a light wave. There is a similar formula for telescopes. It determines the minimum corner difference, angular distance, between two stars that can be seen separately.